Hey, Steve. Hey, Diane. So this warehouse is where Bernie Bogarty has been operating out of as her new office. Uh, it's right off of Washington Drive, and there are about 100 bikes around me in here. This is what she's managed to collect with community support ever since she quit her job with Cumberland County Schools and started this effort back in June. But thankfully, Bogarty isn't exactly new to this. She's true to this. That's because Bogarty had spent much of her career at CCS helping Moses Mathis, the bicycle man himself, distribute bikes to vulnerable children in the system. She says she loved watching children light up after picking out a bike for the holidays year after year and that her friend's program was too important to flame out. At the height of the program, we were providing bicycles for 2,500 kids over the holiday season. And to have it had been that consistent and that valuable over all those years, I could not in, my, in good conscience just let the program die when I had an opportunity to step up to the plate and continue what Mr. Mathis started. The community has been stepping up. Celso Ruiz says he's volunteering as a mechanic because he loved fixing bikes as a kid. If they really enjoy bicycles the way I do, they will have a blast. <laughs> I know it's winter, it's going to be a little bit cold, but when summer comes, they can enjoy the bikes. And I hope the parents get involved with the kids riding the bicycle too. And Bogarty says Deb Barton has been collecting bikes and donations on social media. People still have a heart to give. And this is, this is just such a joyful thing to be able to give, especially to children. Now, Bogarty says that the bicycle man's widow, Ann Mathis, has been mentoring her in this process, but she still has a ways to go to reach that 500 bike goal for the big giveaway on the 16th, as she and her volunteers still have to collect 400 more bikes. So she says that if they don't reach that goal, they'll still collect other presents so that no child has to go home empty handed this holiday season.